Hello and welcome back to another video. We'll be going through 20W19A, the new snapshot. Okay, so I'm going to read out all the features and then we'll go into a world and we'll have a look at the new features. Firstly, add added distance by Strider statistic. Okay, I don't really know what it is, but it's probably going to try um change the way striders spawn patches to blackstone stone and gravel now generate in, in never biomes and patches of soul sand now generate in soul sand valley that's that's quite nice to see some of those blocks just randomly spawning around it's going to be quite nice Villagers can now spawn iron golems regardless of their profession, status, or latest working time. That's quite useful because then we don't have to use up workbenches. It's, it's a little bit more easier. Bastions are now a bit less common. I thought I thought they were quite a bit too common, so I think that's a bit better. Lower the amount of weeping and twisting vines. Grow when bone mill. I haven't really noticed much about that, but I guess it's an important change. You ne you now need to use shears to get an item when breaking never sprouts. I thought that was the case anyway. Tweak spawn spawning of mobs to more closely ahead to mob caps. I guess that might change mob spawners. Not mob spawn, there's mob farms, so that could be a big change. Biome distribution in the nether has been tweaked. Yeah, I can see. I've had to look around the nether biome, and it's kind of annoying that all the biomes are a bit messed, a bit of a mess, so I hope that's improved that. And also, lastly, fish now have their own mob category and mob cap. I guess that's quite useful. Should have really done that in them. I'm dead aquatic but it's okay to do it now. And also there's a lot of bug fixes. A lot. Like last snapshot there's a lot of bugs that have been fixed. Okay so we're in a world now. I'm just gonna show off some of the features. Okay, I guess it only spawned one, so that's a difference. Well, actually two, I guess that's different. As you can see, it's now dropping. Before the snapshot, you wouldn't have got this. And I can't quite see that. I could report this as a bug, but you can't really see them. Okay, so I'm going to... Let's go into a creative. Let's go into the never. And see what the biomes are like. It looks a it looks a much more even. Everything's much more evenly spread. So it used to all be crowded and yeah, I can see a slight difference. See, this is one of my favourite biomes in the Never. Because of how cool it looks, it looks like a volcanic explosion, eruption, or whatever you want to call it. TP to it. And we're looking for a Okay, let's wait for the chunks to load. Alright, I guess it didn't I think we got, might have to dig up a bit to find it. No, actually it was supposed to be down. 
my mistake. Uh, here it is. These look the same, even though it didn't say these were going to change. All it said is, is that it's, they're going to get rarer. This one looks quite hidden. Don't know if there's a way out. Afraid there's no way out. So I guess the fact that these are getting rarer is quite good because these used to be way, way too common. Like you could find one really easily. But the loot is so good. You get all this gold. Also, I did mention about spawnage of iron columns. I might be able to showcase that. Okay, let me just make another portal. I guess that was one of the new achievements. Okay, let's get a villager. Now let's get a zombie. Yeah, I feel like this is not the best way to show off. I guess like iron farms it does take time for them to start spawning. wait for them to spawn but I don't want to make this video too long yeah I don't really want to make this video too long Just take my, just you know. I guess it does take time for iron golems to start spawning. But you get the point that they don't, have, they don't really need a profession to stop spawning iron golems now. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.